Hi everyone, Ken from Miniature War Gaming Warriors and it's Epic Battles again. We've got some more information. This is going to be a short video and uh, I'm just going to go over with the news we've got now. So we now know uh, through listening for a podcast, John Stallard has uh, put out that he wants to get this stuff out by the 1st of January. Uh, there are other conflicting things saying the end of January. So whether it's John or it's uh, the Warlord, uh, like their marketing department, uh, saying the end of January just to be on the conservative side. It would be really good if it comes like at the start of January. Really, really happy with that. But they have sent out an email, and it's a very interesting email. And you can see some skirmishing 95th rifles and also a Highlander Colonel. And they look both to be in plastic, so excellent news on that front. And they, the two scopes that we can see are the 95th rifles. They look pretty cool. They're a bit very, the bit uh, like the. Uh, Full to you've got crouching and you've got standing as well in skirmish formation. So this is what we wanted. So this is really, really good news. Really happy about this. And you've also got a kernel for the Highlanders. So what does that mean? Highlanders in plastic. Another sprue. Oh, it's just getting better and better. And uh, if that wasn't all uh, that was coming out, we've got John Stunnard's interview that he'd done um over with the guys at the hobby support group. And uh, it was a great interview, fantastic interview. I will link in the thing in the show notes below uh it's an audio podcast so have a listen to it basically in there john stallard talks about the uh epic battles and uh how many sprues they're going to be in plastic so what we know is there's obviously there's the french infantry french cavalry uh light cavalry i should say in french heavy cavalry so that's free we've got the british light cavalry we've got the british heavy and we've got the uh british um infantry so that's six he said there is going to be old guard middle guard slash uh, and young guard he didn't say young guard but he said old guard middle guard you can make young guard out of that as well um he did say there was going to be the prussians as well there's going to be i think i believe two sprues of the prussians and um, we've obviously got skirmishing 95th rifles uh, as well on there which is really really good but you must remember as well uh, there is going to be an extra sprue so possibly an extra sprue that he hasn't revealed on what's going on. So I think he mentioned 10, uh, but he said there is 11 plastic sprues. So we will have to uh, keep our eye out for those. So we've got confirmation that we're going to get old guard in plastic. Yes, this is what I wanted. Happy days. Um, we've got the Skirmish 95th Rifles. We've got the Plastic Highlanders. We're going to get Plastic Prussians. They're just going off for tooling at the moment. So we're looking at probably another four months before they're ready to come out. So it looks like they're going to probably be in Wave 3. Looks like we're going to get the Old Guard um, and the Skirmish 95th Rifles, for example, in the second wave, along with the Highlanders, which will be really cool because we've got some elite units there. And, yeah, everything is looking absolutely cracking. I, I've got to say, my hat goes off to the guys over at Warlord Games and the girls. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely loving reporting to you guys on this epic stuff. I just want to get my hands on a sprue so badly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, oh, I just can't wait. Honestly, 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 I cannot wait. So for me, I'm going to be focusing on the French as much as I can to start with. Then I'm going to do the British afterwards. I am going to be doing so British, you know, Belgians, uh, the Dutch, are, the Dutch are going to be in there as well. I'm going to make sure I do those. But remember, John, as John says in his interview with the guys, so make sure you check it out. Listen, his theory is they can't do everything on plastics. Not well, not everything on plastics. You can't do everything right now. So you know, you never know what's going to come in the future. He, he's. I think he mentions in there as well something about Russians eventually. So. Again, make sure you check out this uh, this podcast because it's really, really, really good. Um, gives you an insight what's going in at Warlord Games. Sorry, going on at Warlord Games, I should say. And uh, yeah, I think it's great times for us in the hobby. And um, I think it's only going to get better and better. Honestly, it's really, really good times for us all. But what do you guys think? you got to let me know down below. Are you excited about all this? Is Epic getting on your nerves now? Um as you can tell, I am just can't wait. I literally cannot wait for this this release. And um, I've got my order in. So I've got an order in and two boxes. I've got a box of the uh, the French and a box of the British. So the Star Armies for both. And I'm sure that order is probably going to get bigger and bigger as time goes on. But 
I'm going to do some conversions and uh, John Stallard goes through conversions and stuff in that podcast as well. Um, such for Hanoverian Jaegers and stuff like that to use up excess 95th rifles in skirmishing. Um, if I need to, not a problem. I'm sure I'm probably going to end up buying another box of uh, each eventually. Um, and definitely I'll be getting everything when it comes to the old guard. Um, absolutely looking forward to that. I wonder if they're going to do some metals like they did last time, like for, I don't know, their caravans and carriages and stuff. Maybe they learn from last time about the prices and stuff. Maybe the they didn't sell so well because we haven't heard anything about that sort of stuff yet. I doubt very much we're going to see that in plastic. We never know. We might see um, uh, the limbers in plastic along with the horses. The That would be quite interesting. Uh, um, that would be very interesting, actually, to see that um, in the plastics as well. But everything so far, you know, no mention of resin so far. I wouldn't be surprised if they brought some commanders out at some point in resin. Um, or maybe they're just not going to do them. That would be interesting because we haven't had any announcements for any commanders per se, have we? So Napoleon's not been on there and Eva has uh, Nosy himself, uh, the Duke of Wellington. He's not been on there either. Uh, we've had no confirmation, etc. of that. So they, I would suspect, probably will come out in metal if need be. Um, I don't mind them in the wall of resin when they're just individual figures as long as I haven't got to do hundreds of them. And uh, yeah, I... People always state the Wardle Resin. I don't think it's that bad with smaller scale stuff. Um, it will be interesting to see what they do for that. And uh, yeah, I'm like I say, I'm really excited about it. Really looking forward to getting my hands on some sprues when they eventually come and when you know it's released. I, I just can't wait. I can't wait to bring you guys that content. Going to be doing painting videos, etc. Um, there's going to probably be some battle reports eventually once everything's painted. I'll be in my new house by that point, which will be interesting. Uh, so I will have a lot more room to game. So I might get some solo games in and uh, do little battle reports. And hopefully I can get guys and uh, get some guys around um, some other channels um some friends uh, just to get some games in i'm really really looking forward to this so be sure to like share and subscribe if you're new here i uh, really do appreciate it but guys only a quick one thanks very much for watching i'll see you again very soon and bye bye for now